Hello, so in this video I'm going to go over correctly utilizing a project management system. The example is Basecamp, but this pretty much applies to Asana, Teamwork, you know, any well-known project management system. So let me kind of made a list here of the, the, seven, the seven rules to follow. So let me go one by one. Um, first one is correctly utilizing task lists. Where I see this not being utilized correctly is this one is having a bunch of lists versus one list that encompasses all the tasks for one individual or one entity. So you might have web edits, you might have um, SEO tasks. So it really should go down to the single individual. It could be the team or the entity, but uh, so anyway, so uh, let's delete this. So for this, for the demonstration purposes here, I'm just going to use one list, call it web edits. Okay, let's proceed down our list. Um, reference the digital asset in an absolute URL and title structure. So let me let me look at both of these at the same time. Okay, so title structures really, in my mind, it should be page name. You know, if it's global to the whole site, maybe it would be global dash in a very simple title, not a long to do. It makes it a lot easier to uh, follow, follow it down linearly, the simpler the lists are. So expert pages, fixed title links, single blog pages, missing images. Um, let's look at the about me change out headshots. So in this one, we have the page URL, which that's another one of the, so I wanted to change out the headshot. So I put in a screen, screenshot, and I think that might be overkill because there's only really one headshot on the, on the site, but for demonstration purposes, and you can reference the URL. So I uploaded four images and how you do this is you click right here, grab the URL out of the top of the browser, and then you would paste it back in here. This, so you could say use this arrow image, and that way it eliminates the guesswork. As you can see, I have four images. I just want to know what, what image I'm being asked to change out. So let's proceed down our list. Uh, okay, we covered correctly utilizing to-do lists, reference URL, title structures. Um, oh, another one is make sure per task, if you had 20 homepage tasks, it's nice because the way these will, the way when you're working on a project, it's nice to be able to click, open the link, even if this was the homepage, as you can see, I'm working on a staging server here. So if you have 20 homepage tasks, put the URL to the page. Um, in this case, I put the URL to the actual blog page, missing images, and then screenshot. So proceeding down the list. Screenshots per task where they make sense. For for most of for most of my clients, I recommend Jing. It's a free tool. It puts a little sun in the corner of your screen. Um, very easy to make uh, to make on the fly screenshots. Let's do a quick demo. An annotated screenshot. So capture the image. Let's see here, and then you're able to upload it to the to a URL so you can reference it in line you know within the to-do as I've done in, in these tasks so cancel that we don't need that okay so proceeding down the list screenshot static image placement um why this is important is if you end up putting something in a and this is a little bit subjective but if you put something in a to-do and that to-do gets closed um, I usually logins, design scope, build scope, 
um, anything that you don't want to lose once the to-do is closed. So once this is closed, then this kind of goes away. You can still probably find it, but then you're looking for that static information. So, um, you know, that takes a little thought. Sometimes, uh, you know, Dropbox links, um, you know, assets for the project, you know, those should probably go into a, a note, notebook. Uh, you know, Asana, um, you know, all, all these will have uh, teamwork. All these will have places where you can where you can have notebooks to place your static information. So let's continue down. Uh, oh, assignment of task. So I can open this up. So I might say, let's say it's assigned to me, and I'm the only one on this project. So I might say, please check. And I always like to reference back the URL because I'm telling someone where they're checking. Please check. And then right here is the drop down where you can assign it. Like I said, I'm the only one on this project. Um, you can select due dates. But yeah, if you follow those rules, it makes it a lot of, uh, you know, it makes it a lot easier to, to efficiently uh, charge through a project. So hope that helps. Thanks.